Dragoncraft Super is known as the most difficult Dragon Block C Minecraft server. In this video, I'm going to be starting from the beginning and go all the way through the story to Majin Buu. If you want to play on this server, I'll link the server address and CurseForge link in the description. Right away, I start by creating my character, going with a half Saiyan martial artist. It's a bit of a boring choice, but you can't go wrong with all the transformations you get to choose from. Plus, once I reach a certain power level, I can always prestige into something else. I do slash kit YouTuber and get my special kit, which has a 500 damage sword and protection 1000 armor. I know that sounds like it's insanely overpowered, but for this mod and this server, it's just decent help for now. And throughout this video, the coordinates will appear randomly on screen like so, leading you guys to chests with the sword and armor inside. There's five more of them, so listen for the sound that plays when the coordinates appear. With that aside, let's get right into the story. First off, we fight the six Cybermen. This fight would usually be a little difficult seeing as I haven't leveled up yet, but with my sword, I'm able to one-shot them. To get a little more training, I do the Cyberman side quest, which spawns 12 more of them. It doesn't give much training points, but for now it's better than nothing. I do it one more time before using the training points to boost my stats, then I fight Raditz, and I do punch him a bit before using the sword. Now, before we face Vegeta, it's time to head to the quest warp. Here I can do boss quests or gravity training, but the thing I'm here for now is the OG Dragon Ball quests. For a good amount of time on this server, you'll come to find that these are going to be your main source of TP. Also a little tip, sometimes the NPCs don't load right, and when that happens you just have to relog. I take out Bulma and Oolong, the latter of which is the first enemy to take the 500 damage sword. I also defeat Yamcha and Emperor Pilaf. I return to the mountain area and take out the next Cyberman quest, and do my concentration training before two-shotting Nappa and Vegeta. And if you're planning to join the server, use my reference code, which is on screen and in the description, to get 5,000 training points and 2,500 currency to start. Now I head to Planet Namek, where I hunt some dinosaurs, but more importantly, it's the location of the next story arc. Lord Frieza, Emperor of the Known Universe, has come to Namek to gather the Seven Dragon Balls and wish for immortality. If he succeeds, no mortal will be capable of stopping his reign of terror. <laughs> Hello, monkeys! I swiftly dispose of his weakest soldiers and his current main force consisting of Kui, Dodoria, and Zarbon. Before taking on the Ginyu Force, I go through some training with the Dragon Ball quests. I even take on the next Dragon Ball quest, Jackie Chun, and by beating him I get nearly 2,000 training points. I head to spawn and talk to Korin, grabbing a Senzu Bean and learning how to fly. Senzu Beans heal you, restore your ki, feel your hunger, and restore your stamina. And if you didn't know that already, you probably should watch Dragon Ball. Why are you even here? Senzu Bean! <laughs> After some more quest grinding, including the next Dragon Ball quest, I learned key sense from Kami, which allows me to lock onto people in battle, and also get a general idea of their power level in comparison to mine. Next, I battle the Ginyu Force on Namek. After taking out Ginyu, that leaves just Frieza himself. But not until I complete more training. I am missing something important for fighting Frieza, especially if I want to take him on at full power. But in order to achieve all the power I'm going to need for this, I have to step up my grind. I teleport to Muscle Tower, the next Dragon Ball quest. If you can complete this entire tower, you can get about 13 to 16,000 training points. At my current power, even with the YouTuber sword, I can barely complete the first floor, getting 3,000 TP. A few quest sessions later, and I beat the second floor, only to die in the process. But that's okay, because with that done, I unlock Super Saiyan, adding a small multiplier to my power. I decide to use this time to set a warp at King Kai so it won't become a problem in the future. Then, after some more grinding, it's finally time to battle Frieza for the fate of the universe. 
Using Super Saiyan, I beat down Frieza in all of his forms. I determined that beating him in his final form is enough and that I shouldn't let him power up all the way. But it's not over yet, because by the time I make it back to Earth, Frieza's forces are attacking. It turns out, Frieza survived, and he's come here with his father for revenge against me. I take them out, but then Kami warns me of a new threat that will show itself in time. With this in mind, I dedicate myself to training once more. At this point, I also have access to beginner training, which lets me fight three sets of opponents for training points. Quest 1 is Cybermen, 2 is Raditz, Nappa, and Vegeta, and 3 is the Ginyu Force. Quests 2 and 3 are way stronger than the original fights, and in total, the three missions give me about 1,000 training points. I spend hours going between Dragon Ball quests and beginner quests. Now, at this level, I'm able to beat Buyan on the fourth floor of Muscle Tower. Skipping the third floor for now because Murasaki is actually stronger than Buyan and General White. But beating Buyan isn't easy at my current power. I have to constantly use healing items. With my saved up training points, I buy the dash skill to make myself run faster and upgrade to the next level of super form. This gives me Super Saiyan Grade 2, but I mostly did it so I could transform faster. With my new full power at 2800, I'm able to barely take down Murasaki on the third floor. After a while, getting my potential unleashed to level 7, and taking on the 10 times gravity training quest. Next, I set a stat goal for myself. Before unlocking Super Saiyan 2, I have to get my strength to 220, dexterity to 120, constitution to 280, and spirit to 100. And after completing that goal, my power level is now 4300 in base form. After getting Super Saiyan 2, I continue the story mode, facing the threat that Kami spoke of. Androids 19 and 20 come first, then 18. Cell shows up for the first time, but I scare him off. I find Androids 16 and 17 in the mountains, and after beating them, Cell shows up again, stronger since he absorbed Android 18. I scare him off once more, but this time he runs off to start a tournament or something? Not on my watch, Cell! You will not have any fun if I have anything to say about it! <clears throat> With that said, I beat Cell's children, and then he himself goes down in my wake. After Cell, it's on to the Boo Saga. After a bunch of training, I decided to take on the hard training, which is partially the final goal of this video. This training has you face Frieza, Cell, and Super Boo, all at way higher levels than they are in the main story. I beat Frieza with not too much difficulty, gaining about 5,400 training points. Cell pushes me hard, showing me that I am not ready to face Super Boo, which is fair, considering I haven't finished the Boo Saga yet, but Cell does give me 8,100 training points. Starting off the Boo Saga, I brutalized Pui Pui and Yakan. Then I beat the Devil from the Bible before maxing my potential unlock level. With some stockpiled training points, I unlock Super Saiyan 3 and add 20 more points to my spirit stat. I beat Fat Boo once in Super Saiyan 2 and again in Super Saiyan 3. Then I battle Super Boo, who absorbs Gotenks and Piccolo. Training update, I take out my first Lurker, which are these terrifying beasts that roam the wilderness, and I complete the next Dragon Ball quest for the first time too, adding another 5,000 training points to my quest routine. And after one last grueling grinding session, it's time to finally finish this. I take on Ultimate Boo and battle Kid Boo as well, but the final fight is with the Super Boo from the hard training.